Thank you for watching this Finance with Excel video. In this Excel video, we are going to create a, an Excel tool that helps us to, to gauge our retirement, um, our retirement needs. So uh, basically what this tool says is that if we are expecting to retire in 40 years and <clears throat> we've got 20, uh, 20 years in that we're expecting in retirement um, and we want to uh, have a, the equivalent of a $60,000 per year income throughout all of retirement, then this is how much money we're going to need uh, at retirement. And this is, so this is highlighted in yellow because we have to calculate this in, in, a, in a few different ways, um, but we'll, I'll show you how to do that. And then we use this table right here that shows basically in each period, each month of our retirement, what our income's going to need to be, our monthly income's gonna need to be to manage our lifestyle and how much our retirement savings are going to be uh, in, in that period. So now let me show you how uh, to build this. So let's start with the, the input. So I just put the inputs right here, which is years to retirement, length of retirement, desired retired annual income in today's dollars, because it's very difficult to think of, you know, if, you know, even if we expect inflation to be 2% for the next 40 years, it's difficult for us to calculate in our minds, like, what would $60,000 be 40 years from now with a 2% inflation? So we're just going to calculate that. So we'll just say put in what you want your income to be in today's dollars, what you ex expect in inflation, expect your retirement savings, and then I highlighted this yellow because this is the number that we're going to fiddle with to, to see if... <clears throat> if uh, the, this is the number to, to, to try and see if we have enough assets to do what we want to do. Um, then we have desired assets at the end. This is if you, for example, want to leave some money for, to your kids or you want to make sure you have a little bit of cushion in case your retirement goes longer than 20 years. Um, and then the uh, and then this actual assets at the end of retirement is going to be uh, something that we calculate and it'll be uh, given um, if we have you know $50,000 at retirement, we're trying to pull you know a certain amount out per month. How much is that going to leave us at the end of retirement? So that gives us that. So now we need to add the column indicators for our actual calculator. Okay, so I just I just added retirement period, monthly retirement income, retired savings, and end indicator. End indicator is just something that will pull out the number for the the last um, the last entry. <clears throat> okay, so. This, this retirement period is going to be monthly, so the months of our retirement. So let me put in just some dummy numbers. So let's say we 40 years to retirement, length of retirement is going to be 20 years. We want to have you know $50,000, so $60,000 at the end. The expected average inflation over the next uh, 40 years we expect to be 20 or 2%. Um, Return on savings is like five percent. Let's say we're just investing in in bonds and um, assets at retirement. Let's just say we, we start with a million dollars and then desired assets at the end of retirement. Let's say we want to end with one hundred thousand dollars that we can you know give money to our kids and um, the actual assets. We'll calculate that in just a second. So now let's do some formatting. These we want to be in percents and add a couple decimal places. This we want, and uh, these we want to be in dollars, and those are just fine as regular numbers. Okay, so over here for this retirement period, we see a number that counts to one, from one to, in this case, uh, 20 times 12, because that's the number of periods we expect to be retired. So we're gonna go one, and then now we're going to use an if statement. We're gonna say if, um, one plus whatever's in the previous cell, so that just increased the previous cell by one, is greater than 12 times 20, and then make sure you anchor that because we're going to be dragging this down, and that's just going to say if, uh, if one plus the previous number is greater than the total number of periods in retirement, then give me a blank, so stop counting. If not, give me one plus the previous number. So in essence, uh, all this is saying is um, if one plus the previous number is greater than the total retirement number, stop counting. But if not, keep counting. And so we can look at that. And uh, now if we drag that down, so we can drag it down you know, as far as we want, uh, we, can, we notice that it stops counting when we want it to stop counting, um, which is uh, it stops counting, there we go, right at 240. However, we do have to deal with this value thing. The reason why the value is, is because this cell is blank. It's actually blank in the way I've written the code. It's defined to be text. 
So the way I get rid of those blanks is I use an if error statement. So I just wrap this whole statement in an if error. So I just say if error. And the if error just simply says if, uh, if this, so the if error just statement, if this whole thing gives you an error, then just return something else. If not, then it automatically knows to return whatever's in that particular cell. Okay, so to calculate the monthly retirement income that we want, we're going to use the future value function. So we're going to say equals FV, and that gives us the future value, um, the, which is just your standard uh, future value function that you learned in your finance classes. So the rate, so we basically want to just future value this $60,000 per year, but we're going to do it monthly. Uh, so it's 60,000 divided, um, divided by 12. And so in this case, uh, the rate is going to be the inflation rate because we want to say, you know, $60,000 a year worth of consumption today is going to be how many dollars worth of consumption in the future. So the rate is just going to be uh, 2%, make sure you anchor there, divided by 12 because we're doing monthly compounding. The number of periods is going to be 40. So, so how, many, how many periods in the future is going to be? It's going to be 40 and make sure you anchor there times 12 plus whatever the retirement period is. And the reason why is because inflation is still going to keep happening while you're in retirement. So you're actually going to be increasing your number of or your monthly withdrawals as time goes on um, so, so that your consumption can stay flat as inflation um, continues to increase at our expected 2%. The payment is just going to be zero, and then the present value is is going to be sixty thousand divided by twelve, and make sure we anchor on that sixty thousand, and then you just close that. You just close that, and then you can hit enter. Now you notice that it uh, it. It's giving us a negative number, and that's just simply because the way Excel calculates this. If you put a positive number in here, um, that's it, it, it's it's thinking that we're calculating loans and loan repayments or bonds and or bonds repayments. So it's saying that you're getting uh, five thousand dollars here, which means that you're going to have to pay, and so they do paying as negative numbers. Don't think, don't worry about too, too much. Just put a negative sign in front and then you'll get a positive number. So then we would say we're going to want our monthly retirement income to be 11138 um, <clears throat> Now what we're going to notice that once we get down, so I'm just going to make this uh, really easy. I'm going to put one so we can just see really easy. Once we get down to, uh, to past here, this formula, if we drag it down, is just going to error. So we just have to do the exact same thing with this formula that we do with our other formulas. Is wrap it in an if error function. So if error this give me a blank and now we can drag that all the way down and we now have a dynamic formula that tells us how exactly how much we need to um, or how much we are going to want to withdraw every um, every month now I think that the the decimal places are a little bit superfluous here so I'm just gonna get rid of them because um, they don't really matter Okay, so let's go ahead and change this back to 20, for example, um, for if we want a 20-year retirement. Now, to calculate how much we have in our retirement savings, so at the at this, so this is going to be how much we have in our account at the end of the month. So at the beginning of month one, we're going to end up having this much money in our in our retirement account. And then um, that money is going to compound by whatever our retirement um, is going to, or sorry, uh, it's just going to be this amount, and then we're going to withdraw uh, the amount that we have uh, for our retirement income. So at the end of the month, we are left with, um, sorry, and then this, this amount right here is going to end up compounding. And we'll just assume we have uh, you know five percent monthly compounding, and it's going to compound, and so it's going to be times one plus. 5% divided by 12. So at the end of the month, we're going to end up having uh, this much money. So let me let me uh, go ahead and make this into dollars, just so that we can see better. <clears throat> and now we need to calculate what's going to uh, be for the, the next month. So the next month, it's uh, the amount that we're going to have at the end of the month is just going to equal the exact same, uh, basically the same thing. So we start with this much. We're taking out our monthly amount, and then that amount is going to compound by 5% uh, monthly, so divided by 12. Now we have to make sure that we anchor here 
and um, then we can just drag. So you notice I'm not anchoring here or here because I want those two cells to drag down, but I am anchoring here because I want to stay hooked there forever. So now I just drag uh, this number down. But there's a problem because this uh, this formula, the way I have it written right now, um, we also have this uh, this error problem, this value problem also. So we just have to use an if uh, error statement again. Um, we could also use a statement that says something along the lines of if either of these two is blank, then return a blank. But, but I'll just go ahead and use an if error statement. And then drag that all the way down. <clears throat> Okay, so now if we look at uh, if we look at this, um, it tells us that the how much money will be in our retirement account. So we'll actually be you know down 2.751 million dollars. So we don't have enough money in our retirement account. Last thing we need to do is this end indicator right here. And this end indicator right here is so we need to basically go through here and um, pick out what is the uh, the ending amount. And there are a couple ways to do this. Uh, this is just uh, um, so that way we know at the end um, what is the end amount. So I'm just going to say equals if this cell right here, so retirement pe period equals the max over all retirement periods, and make sure you anchor that, then give me a, the value of the retirement savings. If not, give me a blank. And so if we drag this down, and let's just go ahead and put one here, just so you can say, we can look at this and we can say, um, let me uh, put that into dollars so we can see it better. We can look and we can say, this is exactly how much our, uh, our um, retirement account will be worth at the end. And then actual assets at the end of retirement is just going to equal the sum of everything in this column, which the only thing in this column is going to be this number right here, so it will always bring back the exact number. Now this calculator is basically finished. So I, I go and I click 20, and let's say I want um, a uh, a um, uh, I want a particular lifestyle, and oh, I'm going to use some conditional formatting here. So if the if the actual assets are greater than the desired assets at the end, then I want this to turn green. If they're less than the desired assets at the end, I want this to turn red. So I'm just going to click on this cell. I'm going to go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, uh, greater than, and then I want it to be greater than this cell with green. And then I want uh, to highlight cells less than this particular number with red. So now we can look at this and we can say we don't have enough money uh, to make our retirement. So now we can fiddle with this and we can say, okay, well, what if I have $3 million in our retirement account? They say, okay, great. Well, now I have enough money to do what I want to, to do with my retirement. Well, do I need $2 million? $2 million, I just barely don't have enough money in my retirement account, so then we can fiddle with this and we can see um, how much money we end up needing to, uh, to meet our retirement goals. So, thanks for watching.